Hello guys, this is Pearl and you are most welcome to today's tutorial. For today, we are going to focus on how to create a website using snippet in Speedwap or using pre-designed template in Speedwap. Now let's quickly get started to create our own website. The first thing I'm going to do to create my website using pre-designed template or snippets in Speedwap is first of all to click on this plus button which contains all the components. Now when you click on it, the very first one which represents layout contains all the different layouts and templates you will need. So you can see that as you hover over all the templates, it gives you an idea of whatever is inside that template. Now first of all, we are going to design our website banner. So drag and drop a suitable template which will enable you to design the website banner. This template right here is good, so drag and drop the template right here. Now the second thing is that you want to change whatever information that is in here. We are just using this template, editing it and changing it to our own information. The first thing is to change the background, so just make sure that the style panel is open. Click on the style button right here, make sure that the style panel is open and click on this image box right here. We are going to change our background, choose file, and select the image you want to use as your background. All right, now we have our image right here, which is being uploaded in the background. If you want to change the behavior of the image or the background image, you can just click on this drop down arrow on the sides and click on contain or you can click on cover whichever you want but i prefer cover so i'm going to leave it that way now the next thing is to change the font color i don't like the font color of the heading so just select the heading right here and change the font color i'm going to change that to white all right this is already in white so i'm just going to leave it that way now i want all my elements to be in the middle i want all the elements inside the section to be in the middle so make sure the entire section is selected you can select it right by clicking section here or go to navigation and click on section just to make sure that the entire section is selected once you are sure the entire section is selected then you can click on center right here and it centers all your elements for you as well now we are going to change the background of this call to action button so click on the call to action button click on the style button right here and the style panel opens up for you locate color now we're going to change this color to yellow so just click on yellow and you can drag just play with the color wheel to choose your desired shade of yellow now we are going to change whatever information that is in our headline so just select the information delete it and input your own information so the name of my website is best photography network and you can also decide to input a real description right here just to give your website a description a quick description now the next thing we are going to do is that we want to ensure that the, there are spaces between this element so first of all select the second element which is the paragraph and locate margin we are going to give it a margin of 50 just to create enough space now if your website banner or your first page is looking good you can decide to move on all right now we are going to create the second page which is an about us page so you have to go back to this plus button and look for a suitable template, a pre-designed template, which will help you design your about us page. Now this right here is good. So drag and drop it. And you can also decide to make more changes as well. If you want to change the image, you can feel free to do so. If you want to change the background, you can also feel free to do so. Now I'm going to change this particular call to action button first. So select the call to action button and we are going to change the color to the same yellow. To make sure that this color, this call to action button has the same color as this, there's a simple way to do that. Just select the first call to action button. Once you select the first call to action button, locate the color view right here and copy the color code. So Ctrl C, exit out of that, come back to click on this call to action button and paste the same color code in there, which is Ctrl V. Now I am sure that I have the same color right here. Now we are going to change the text because right now our text is not readable. We are going to change the text to white. And now our text is very readable. The next thing we are going to do is to change this background. Okay, so just make sure that you select the right colon. Once the right colon is selected, locate the color view background, click on it. And now we can change the background to any color we would want to change it to. 
all right so just play with it just to choose a suitable color all right i feel this is okay now this is great now you can also decide to input some real information right here but this is just to show you how to design a website or to create a website using pre-designed template now once you are satisfied with how your about us looks like you can move on to create the next page so we are going to create the next page which is a services page so go back to click on this plus button right here now locate a, a template that will enable you design your services page so we are just looking for a template that will help us design our services page now this template right here is good this snippet is good so drag and drop it right beneath about us so when you are dragging and dropping be very careful so that you don't put it in the wrong direction now you can quickly exit out of that and do some changes to this as well so first of all we are going to change the background so once the entire section is selected click on this image box to change the background choose the file from wherever it's been saved and click on open all right now the next thing we are going to do is also to change the font color because we want consistency so you can see that all our text is in white white so we are going to change the font color as well to white so just drag play with the color view do same for the description as well and also change the font color to white awesome now if you're good you can also move on to design the next page the next page we are going to design is our contact us page to design the contact us page all you have to do is to go back and click on this plus button and choose a good snippet that will help you design your contact us page so you can decide to hover over to choose an appropriate snippet so i'm going to drag and drop this one right here right we need services okay now first of all we are going to change the background of our contact us page so just make sure that the entire row is selected and locates background right here so the background we are going to change this to black change the background to black and this is good so you can decide to exit out of that the next thing we are going to do is to change the background of the left column so this is the left column right here so make sure that the left column is selected and click on the image box to change the background into an image so choose the file from wherever it's being saved on your device click on it then open now if you, you are not satisfied with the behavior of the image inside the container all you have to do is to locate size right here click on the drop down arrow and click on cover that is how to change the behavior of your image inside the container the next thing we are going to do is to change the font size you're going to change the font size of this text so just make sure that the entire section is selected because all the paragraphs are in a section so you are going to change the font size of all the text elements in here locate the size container and click on 18 okay so that is how to change a group of text inside a container now we are also going to change the font size of contact us so just click on the heading template of contact us and we are going to change this to 60. so type in 60 px so 60 px always don't forget to add the px now our contact us has been changed now we are also quickly going to change the u to capital so just change this u to capital right here and that is good so you can see that there is inconsistency in whatever we've done so far this this headline has a different size this headline also has a different size this headline also has a different size same as all the paragraphs so we are quickly going to change all the headlines to 60 px we are going to start with the very first one so make sure that the first headline is selected which is best photography network once it's selected locate the size container and change that to 60 px enter okay now we are also going to make sure that our paragraphs also have the same font size so this right here is 18 which is good this is already in 60 so leave it that way now this paragraph is in 16 px okay so we are going to change that to 18 we are just making sure that there's consistency throughout our page now when you click on this button right here it says 20 that's the size when you click on this it's 20 as well that is very good now we are also going to change this right here to 60 px so make sure that the heading template for our services is selected locate the size container and change the size to 60 px then enter all right that's good and we are also going to change the paragraph to 18 i'm going to change the font size to 18 
so we are just ensuring that there's consistency throughout the page right here now click on the last button and we are going to change this to 20 px so just change the last button to 20 px okay and that is good now we have consistency in all the text templates now we the last thing we are going to do is to change the color right here because we have consistency in all the buttons so just copy the color code of the first button or the second button whichever we are going to copy the color code right here Control c exit out of that now go back to click on the last call to action button and locate the background color now paste in the same color code right there okay now we have consistency throughout our web all our buttons have the same color and also the same font size and all our text is also with the same font size and the same color as well the last thing we are going to do to complete our website is to add a navigation bar at the top to do that all you have to do is to click on this plus button just go back and click on this plus button right here and locate navigation which is right here now drag and drop an appropriate navigation i'm going to drag and drop this one and move its way to the top just make sure you are, you are positioning it very well now once you succeed in dragging and dropping your navigation bar to the top the next thing is to change the background so to change the background just make sure that the entire navigation link is selected click on button right here and locate the color container we are going to paste the color code for yellow inside now once you paste the color code for yellow just paste in the color code for yellow so control v and it's going to give you the result right here so let's quickly exit out of that the next thing we are going to do is to change this information right here i'm going to change this to bpn so bpn simply represents the initials of my website so which is best photography network bpn now the next thing is to make sure that all these links are being moved or are being aligned to the right hand side to do that just click on any of the links at all you can just click on any of these home products company blog just click on any of them once you click on any of them you realize that this panel opens right beneath here for you you can see link bar nav menu which represents navigation menu and link so just click on nav menu once you click on nav menu all the navigation menu will be selected once it's selected go back to click on the property button the property panel opens up for you so right at the top you can see alignments click on the alignment drop down arrow and click on right so that is how to align your navigation menu and you can further resize if you want to now the next thing we are going to do is as the navigation menu is selected we want to bolden this information and also change the color so first of all just click on b to bolden it i can just click on b to bolden it and also change the font color to black we want to make sure that it is very black and visible okay so that is good the next thing we are going to do is to change whatever information that is in here so you can see we have the home page which is the first one so i'm going to just leave it at home and we are going to change this information so i'm going to change product to about so we have about and we are going to change company to services so quickly change it to services and change block to contact all right now we've succeeded in changing this information we also now have a navigation bar now you can just quickly scroll through whatever you have created so far just to make sure that everything is consistent and everything is good so you realize that we did we forgot to change this information right here so let's change the u let's make the u capital all right now there's consistency in our website and there's consistency in whatever we have created so far so if you are satisfied with how your website is looking you can just decide to close this bar just to give you a better view of what you have done so far if it's okay you can just preview your work in other devices just preview on the laptop mode you can preview in the tablet just preview your work in any device at all and you can further click on the drop down arrow to save your work which is 
very simple to do okay people so this brings us to the end of today's tutorial on how to create a website using snippets or using pre-designed templates and speed wrap it's very easy and i hope you've been able to put something together if you have learned something new for today all you have to do is to click on the subscribe button right below and i promise to come your way with more educative content for you to learn something new thank you for subscribing to the channel and i will see you in the next tutorial